a power generation facility functions as a catalyst for growth. In Point Lisas, many years ago, before the methanol plants, before the steel mill, before the ammonia plants, there was the power plant. It provided a reliable power supply, which is a key attraction to the plants that were to follow. In a similar fashion, I anticipate that this power plant will attract other industries to the Union Estate as the estate can now boast of having a reliable and efficient power plant. What you see here is much more than an efficient power plant that produces the cheapest overall cost of electricity. It is much more than a world-class facility run by highly skilled men and women of Trinidad and Tobago. What you see here is a facility that has defied the odds, that has come through some very tough challenges and successfully negotiated a settlement with our contractor, successfully brought out, bought out the foreign shareholders' interests, and is a glowing example of what we can do in the face of any adversity. We have shown that we have the ambition and the drive to create something amazing. We have shown that we have the capacity to own it. We have shown that we have the skills, knowledge, and expertise to run a world-class power generation business. It gives me great pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to officially open the Trinidad Generation Unlimited Power Facility at Union Industrial Estate in La Brie. It is indeed a historic day for Trinidad and Tobago and La Brie as we formally open our country's sixth power plant. This facility is therefore an important piece of national infrastructure that is at the heart of the government's industrial vision for the Southwest Peninsula. It fits in with the planned highway to Point Fortin, which is in, um, already being constructed. The Seven Seas Desalination Plant, which was recently commissioned, and the planned upgrade for the Brighton Port facilities located a short distance from here. Next door to this facility is a side carded for Mitsubishi's methanol to dimethyl eater plant. And I recognize the presence of Jitsumatsu of Mitsubishi. And there are other potential tenants of the Union Industrial Estate as other projects are under consideration by the Ministry of Energy. In a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, Union Industrial Estate is expected to be the next point lease of Trinidad and Tobago. And at the heart of that vision is the TGU power plant. I am pleased to say that this impressive facility is owned by the people of Trinidad and Tobago, and I would add that it is run by the people of Trinidad and Tobago. On the 18th of December 2012, TGU assumed care, custody, and control of the entire facility from German contractor Mann Ferrostal, and thereafter declared commercial operations to TNTEC up to the contracted capacity of 720 megawatts. Notwithstanding the delays, the final cost is within budget, as I'm advised that the budget for the project was originally 777 million US dollars. TGU has 50 permanent staff and 14 outsourced contract staff. A major policy initiative of the Ministry of Energy is energy efficiency. This is, uh, um, in this country, ladies and gentlemen, we simply waste too much energy. I repeat again, in this country, we waste too much energy. And I'm speaking both from the perspective of the industrial sector and the domestic sector. This is unfortunate as it impacts our natural gas reserves. The population needs to appreciate that when we conserve electricity, we conserve our natural gas. The population needs to make the connection between the light bulbs and the appliances in their homes and the natural gas reservoirs that are located on the east, off the east coast and the north coast. Every time you turn off a light bulb that should not be on, you are saving natural gas. In Trinidad and Tobago, one area where we can improve on energy efficiency is power generation. We generate at TGU the same unit of power using almost half the quantity of energy. And that, of course, makes it the most efficient power plant probably in the Caribbean. It is the intention of government to utilize all the power 
in this facility by the end of 2014. That, I again repeat, is a very high national priority. Labre has a very bright future and there will be a lot of industries coming to this part of the country very soon.